It's very scrappy at the moment. Inside the New Zealand 22 now. They take it into the setup. Frank Bunce goes in and makes a big hit. And hello, it's all on here. Well, Simon Poitavin, not acting like a rugby commentator, which he is these days. Yes, I think he took his impartiality out of it there. Somebody's on the deck. It all happened when Frank Bunce arrived on the scene. There he is, he went in whack. Somebody didn't like that. Somebody dived in and uh, Frank didn't like it either. And uh, it was all on for a minute. And Poitavin's uh, really in there. So it's been a fairly uh, fiery start to this game. I'm sure the referee will be trying to get the players to channel their aggression in the right directions. Well, Frank Bunce arrived at high speed. It was coming on the all-black side. Well, that's uh, called joining a ruck, isn't it? I think so. I've seen a lot of forwards do it. <laughs> and if you joined it from a little... A little bit further away than most would. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's good to see a bit of an ag aggression in the All Black play today. They really mean business. And they've taken it to New South Wales. It's going to be a shot at goal. Not exactly sure who the injured player is. It might be Brial, the number eight forward. And in the meantime, it's going to be a shot at goal from uh, Tim Kelleher. But it's been a bruising encounter so far. New South Wales have lost those two players. Roebuck with that uh, lip injury. But he looked to be severely concussed as well. And Willie Off and Garway with what looked again to be a severe leg injury. And Tony Daly's been in a bit of strife. So's Nick Farr-Jones. And now I'm pretty sure it's the number eight, uh, Bryal, who is flat out on the deck. with the injury disruptions they had before the match they definitely won't want to be losing any more players yes it is Michael Bryle who interesting enough, interestingly enough has a, a New Zealand connection he works for Faye Richwright here in, uh, in Sydney 22 year old, very promising and he's uh, rather come up through the grades, he's played for the Australian under 17s, Australian under 19s and some say it's only a matter of time before he cracks the full Australian team but he looks to be in a fair bit of strife here, they're uh, Still showing a lot of concern. And it's hard to imagine that uh, Bryle can last on the field. So New South Wales may well have to bring their next replacement on. There's a very heavy shower of rain comes down the field. He'll be reluctant to leave the field. A young, promising player in a big, big match such as this. So Tim Callagher has the job of, because Roebuck has left the field, of trying to add the extra, or add the three points. see that Bryle is uh, still in considerable trouble there. He's certainly been given plenty of time to recover. In the meantime, here's Callagher. And that looks a good kick. It is, too, from Tim Callagher. So it's a bruising encounter here at the Waratah Stadium. It's seven points to six now. The All Blacks have scored the only try. And it's a very heavy rain falling at the moment. New South Wales have all sorts of people warming up here. 